Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting and insightful topic to discuss. We're diving into a recent study conducted by JP Morgan and Queen's University, where they put Finn Burt, a specialized language model, head-to-head -head with ChatGPT, specifically in the context of financial text analytics. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's understand the context. In today's digital age, understanding and analyzing financial text data is of utmost importance. That's where language models like FinBert and ChatGPT come into play. FinBert, as the name suggests, is finely tuned for the financial domain. It's trained on specific terminology, language structures, and concepts related to finance. On the other hand, ChatGPT is a more generalized language model. So, how do these two giants perform in financial tasks? Let's find out. The study compared GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 with 8K tokens against FinBert. They were tested on various financial tasks, including arithmetic reasoning, news classification, sentiment analysis, and named entity recognition. The results are intriguing. FinBert shines when it comes to sentiment analysis tasks related to financial texts. Sentiment analysis in finance demands a keen understanding of nuanced expressions and how news impacts investors. Thanks to its financial domain specialization, FinBert doesn't require extensive fine-tuning to excel in these tasks. Another noteworthy point is few shot learning. Chatty Jeep's performance in various tasks often requires extensive prompts and guidance. On the other hand, FinBert outperforms ChatGPT and even competes with human experts in arithmetic reasoning. This demonstrates that FinBert is a highly specialized model for financial tasks, whereas ChatGPT might not reach the same level of expertise in the financial domain. Moving on to financial named entity recognition, NER, and sentiment analysis, where a deep well of domain-specific knowledge is essential, ChatGPT and GPT-4 face challenges. Their inability to grasp the intricacies of financial terminologies becomes evident. In a comparative analysis that pits both these models against fine-tuned models tailored for the financial sector, like FinBert and FinQANet, the outcome is clear. While general language models like ChatGPT hold great potential, they aren't quite on par with their specialized counterparts in the financial domain. This study, although highlighting the gap between state-of-the-art generative language models and domain-specific proficiency, also presents a promising opportunity for refinement and future advancements in the field. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of language models and financial text analytics. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us.